Hi everyone, Kremlin here for the Techies. Today I'm going to be bringing you the first part of my series, which is going to be about making a database site uh, using PHP. Now, first of all, when and why should you use databases in your site? Uh, a database stores uh, information, any kind of information. It's usually used for just text. Um, now, if your site has a lot of entries, such as blog entries or whatever, um, or in my case, I use it to store videos and video information. If you have a lot of entries that you don't feel like making individual pages for, you should use a database. It'll save you time, it'll make it more efficient, and it'll be a lesser pain. So uh, here's the first step of doing it. Um, without manually filling in stuff to the database, we're going to post it to the database right from the site. Now, first of all, uh, you're going to want to make the database in PHP My Admin. That should be explained in your site hosting. Uh, that has already been covered by several of our previous tutorials, so there will be a bit, a bit of overlap, but I'll go above and beyond. So yeah, here's our form, our first file called file number one dot php oh by the way everything that i'm going to be doing is going to be in php so save all files files at dot as dot php so here's our form basic html no php um, enter how many fields you want make sure they're named so that they can be recalled later and make sure that the action goes to the next file where all the magic happens now here is the next file here is where all the PHP is. This is where the information that you put into here, it gets put into the database. So first of all, we got to call up the information that we put into the form. So this right here, it retrieves that information using the post method. I recommend post over get because it's uh, more efficient. You don't really need to, uh, you don't need get, just use post here. So um, you will make a variable out of what you recall, and then that variable will be used later on. So uh, right here, uh, the variable con, it connects to the database. You will enter mysql uh, underscore connect, and then localhost, then the database name, and the password that you use to access the database. And this or die statement right here, um, this just says if the connection failed, and then it lists the error that occurred. This little thing right here lists the error. Um, next line here, MySQL select DB. This selects the database, um, so you'll just type in database, comma connect, so you don't have to repeat it again, uh, and, and the same or die statement if it fails to select it. Now, the query. Uh, the query that we're going to be using is insert into. Uh, that is MySQL for you right there, I mean SQL. Uh, you select the database, the table, make sure there's a period between it, then the columns that you want to insert information into. Now the columns, uh, your very first one should be ID, so you can uh, pinpoint the entries in your database, and then the rest will be regular columns for your data. I just named them column 1, 2, and 3. for this tutorial. Then now, after you select all the t uh, columns that you want to enter information into, you actually enter it with values. Uh, you're going to put null for ID since you should make that auto assigned, as in every time you make a new entry, it auto assigns a new unique number, like 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, and then you use your variables, which you assigned here you put them in as values that will be entered into these columns. Uh, there you go. Uh, make sure that you have this syntax. It works. Uh, then the result, uh, this actually ex executes this query, um, the query, and then connect. And then if the query worked, if all your information was added correctly, if the if this variable is true, then the data is added, and if it's not, if else, then they, there was some problem and it could not post uh, your data. And then make sure you always, always MySQL underscore close. Do that always, so you don't leave any holes. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, 
If you want to see this system in action, or the products of the system, I should say, go to th3techies.com. We recently made a huge update where we switched to a database style site, and it's awesome, and check it out. <laughs> so, um, hope to give you a tutorial in the near future on the continuation of this, but until next time, I'm Kremlin for the Techie.